Hey everybody, this is Jordan Rudis, and I'm the president of Wisdom Music, and also the keyboardist for the rock band Dream Theater. It's my pleasure to introduce you to our latest app, Harmony Wiz. Really very proud of this app because I feel it does something that I've never seen before. It's a minor musical miracle, if you will. It allows you to do things like painting in or playing in on the onboard keyboard or even with a MIDI keyboard, a musical line, and then Harmony Wiz will take that and make a multi-part arrangement for you. Pretty cool stuff. One of the things we believe in in Wisdom Music is to offer the gift of music to as many people as possible. You don't have to be a musician to really get a lot out of Harmony Wiz. But if you are a musician, there's an awful lot of cool stuff that you can do. So let's go in and check it out. Here we go. First thing we'll look at is the painting mode. This is a lot of fun. What you can do is you can take your finger and you can start all the way to the left underneath the musical staff. And when, whether or not you know something about music or not, doesn't matter. Just take your finger and go high, go low. Just try some different things, but go left to right. There are four measures, so it's gonna automatically scroll when you reach this little um, margin on the side. So here we go, I'll continue, and then we can check it out. We could just hit play and listen to it. Lovely. Now what you want to do is discover the Harmony Wiz button, which is right here. And in less than a second, it takes your entire melody and makes a multi-part musical arrangement. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's a minor musical miracle. In addition to being able to paint in your melody, you can also put in your musical line by pressing the keyboard button. And you have two choices of keyboards. One is the chromatic keyboard, which you can play any note in the scale. Or you can just have a harmonic keyboard, which basically means you can't hit a wrong note because it's only going to be the notes in the selected scale. That's pretty cool. Let's try to record. Two measures, count off, and I'll begin. Now that's in there, let's hit the Harmony Wiz button. Let's press this so we can see the entire piece. And let's listen. Awesome. Another nice feature is that when you're recording into it, you can change the quantize on record value. So let's change it to 16th notes. And while we're in this menu, we might as well take a look at the various reverb choices. A large hall is always nice. So now we can record again. Bring up a little keyboard, came up automatically. And here we go, two, three, four. my finest composition. Let's see what this is. All right, let's get rid of the keyboard and let's listen to it. We're gonna save composers a lot of time. If you're in expert mode, your arrangement, which is grayed out in easy mode, becomes all black, which means that you can get to anything. So you could, for example, take the selection tool and highlight any notes in any of the track and have all these options. In this case, we could say we want these to be harmony notes as well. Um, and then we can hit harmonize. We can also go in and access the figured bass, which is really cool. Harmony Wiz tells you the theory and the figured bass behind every chord. Like we can see that the third chord in is a five chord and then a one chord and a four chord. And if we wanted to, we could press on that and actually force the chord attributes 
and choose the, the degree of the scale that we want. So instead of the four chord, we might say, you know what, we really want this to be a two chord and we want it to be um, a ninth chord. Great. And then the next time you hit the harmony whiz button, that kind of chord will show up. So expert mode offers all this additional flexibility for really going in there and changing your arrangement. Again, the pencil tool is here and you could pick the kind of note value that you want. You want to change this D here into a, an A that's for a, a half note. Maybe you want to change this F to a D half note. Um, we want to go in and choose the type of note. You could say, oh, even a suspension note. And we can change this note here to a half note suspension and all these things. So once you get your kind of like miracle going and have Harmony Wiz harmonized for you, you can also go in and tweak and really refine the way that Harmony Wiz treats your music. Harmony Wiz offers some very cool things you can do in the menus. Things like, well, you can get your arranged styles very easily and choose a different one. You can loop the song. So if you have something that would work nicely as a loop, you can do that. You can change the tempo very easily. You can tap tempo. You can change the key signature. If you have a piece that sounds great in C, you might want to try it in E flat minor. It's easy to do that. You can change the song length. You can add a new track, change the quantization, add different effects, and export your song. Harmony Wiz also works as a MIDI instrument where you can have the different tracks playing out to your MIDI gear. And you can also record, if you want to, from a controller or external MIDI keyboard. So there's a lot of flexibility there. Thanks for checking out Harmony Wiz. When you get into the app, you'll notice there's a great online tutorial. By hitting the question mark, you can go in and see different subjects and swipe through and learn about Harmony Wiz. You'll also enjoy the fact that in addition to the sounds that are on board, there are sounds from the JR collection that you can download, things from Dream Theater and other projects that I do. So enjoy the app, and I'll see all of you on the road.